Watch. 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 Stop! Right there. That is the first time we have seen paper in a Star Wars movie. We're eight films into this franchise, and it's been finally revealed that there are books in that galaxy far, far away. This book stuff in the Last Jedi trailer isn't casual either. There's literally a spotlight on a row of old, crusty books, presumably owned by Luke Skywalker. This sorta goes against the wishes of Papa George Lucas, who always intentionally wanted Star Wars to be paperless. In Star Wars, there's this huge over-reliance on audiovisual communication. We've never seen any character write anything down. This makes it seem like the cultural memory in Star Wars is ridiculously short. Just two decades after the Republic falls, people start referring to the Jedi as that ancient religion. Then three decades after Return of the Jedi, Luke Skywalker, I thought he was a myth. This would be like someone in 2017 believing that the Clinton administration was a media hoax. In The Force Awakens, Han Solo mentions that Luke Skywalker went looking for the first Jedi temple. Now, the Jedi have been around for a thousand generations, which makes their existence practically ancient in the Star Wars chronology. We've never seen books, because it seems like paper is connected with that even longer time ago than the long time ago we're used to. That makes these books just, just the oldest dang books. The whole tone of the trailer seems to imply there's some secret information about the Force just coming to light. If Luke Skywalker really thinks it's time for the Jedi to close up shop, maybe it's because he's found some deep, dark secrets about the nature of the Force. 